gosh, here's my 16 Expedition 3.5 EcoBoost. A lot of people don't care or know or research. I mean, a lot of people do, but just for general statement here, this is really like an 11 to 14 F-150. That's what the whole front frame section is on these trucks. So on the EcoBoost trucks, they had a issue where moisture and oil vapors and yada, yada, yada would come up and clog up the intercooler and charge pipe, etc., and cause stuttering, shuddering, misfire type symptoms. Um, this truck has 222,000 miles on it. Runs hard, but has started to give me said jerking, over boost, under boost issues. And so they supposedly fixed the intercooler issues on these trucks because this is technically a Gen 2. But in my opinion, it's still a Gen 1 because it's 11 to 14 truck and then, you know, front section. So why would Ford update anything on this big girl? But some people report problems, some don't. Again, this thing's been good for so many miles. So I decided to drill the 1 16th hole in the intercooler charge pipe. It's the plastic section. So if you look under on the driver's side, underneath the air deflector right here, I just drilled a very small hole right past this little notch in the uh, shield there. And it was a 1 16th bit. Drilled the hole in it and immediately, of course it's windy. Anytime I try to do something productive, it's windy or you gotta tape something down or hold it down. This bizarre wind comes out of somewhere and just ruins your whole day. So anyways, uh, black oil is just dripping out of the intercooler. So that's nice. Obviously you should probably get a catch can, but I'm not going to because, you know, she's got 200 something thousand miles on it. It's too late, point of no return. So here we go. Got all the oil dripping out of the intercooler here. I'm hoping this will fix a lot of my problems. But time will tell. It'll probably take a few days or a day of driving it around just to see if it fixes it or not. But again, if you want to do this to your truck, this works on all 11 to 17 Ford F-150 and Expedition Navigator. I know an 11 to 14 Expedition and Navi don't have an EcoBoost, but you know, just get with the program. 11 to 14 F-150, 15 to 17 XB, 15 to 17 Navi, and then 15 to 17 F-150 as well. So we'll see what this does. You do not have to plug this hole up after or worry about it. You can just leave it open, venting to atmosphere. You're not really going to notice any kind of boost leak or issue because it's so small. And then that's it.